In a statement on Thursday, Dr. Sri Ahmad Zahid said this clearly shows the continuous efforts of the federal and state governments in sustaining Cameron Highlands as a famous tourism destination and to raise the production of the country's economic produce through sustainable agricultural activities. The statement was issued in conjunction with the Cameron Highlands Rehabilitation Joint Action Committee meeting chaired by Datu Sri Ahmad Zahid together with Pahang Menteri Besar Datu Sri Adnan Yaakob at the National Security Council MKN on Wednesday. It was decided during the meeting that the MKN is to continue to play its role as the steering agency in Cameron Highlands and coordinate the implementation of op gudding 4 in an integrated manner with collaboration from the federal government agencies and the Pahang state government. In addition, he said the waste products from aluminium, steel, timber from the plastic house structures destroyed during the op gudding 1 and op gudding 2 in the permanent forest reserve areas must be disposed of and cleared immediately. Dr. Sri Ahmad Zahid also added that helicopters from the Malaysian Armed Forces ATM and the Royal Malaysia Police PDRM would also be used in the aerial observation operations and aid operations during natural disasters if needed. Apart from that, the Deputy Prime Minister said an army subunit will be stationed permanently in Cameron Highlands for the purpose of enforcement against illegal settlement or encroachment on government land and eliminate illegal immigrants in op-gudding 4.